Okay, in this lesson, what we're going to be doing is looking at converting between fractions, decimals, and percents. This is a very um, important topic for this entire chapter, as well as other um, understandings in mathematics. So you might want to rewatch this video or come back to it or practice this a lot, as this is quite uh, an in-depth topic. So um, first of all, and you're going to want to come back to this diagram, and we will be doing some examples. To convert between fractions, decimals, and percents, we're going to use the diagram below. So this here is kind of like a translator, like how we translate between the language of percent, decimal, and fraction. So as an example, you may know, I'll just write maybe an example here, is that one quarter is equivalent, so that's a, that's a fraction, is the same as 0 0.25 as a decimal, and is the same as 25%. So how do we know all of that? Or how do we do that with more difficult questions? Or how do we approach this in a variety of ways to go from percent to decimal to fraction? Um, and that's quite an involved and heavy topic. So uh, probably the most straightforward, or a couple of straightforward ones to, to do is first of all going from a fraction to a decimal. So how do we go from something like one quarter to 0 0.25? You can make any fraction into a decimal equivalent by dividing the fraction, because fractions are actually representing division. So one quarter, here's an example, so one quarter, if I do one divided by four, that's how I can get 0.25. There are other ways, but uh, I'm gonna suggest that that's one of the easier ways to do it. So from fraction to decimal, you divide the fraction. Okay, and you're gonna do that on your calculator. So that's how we do that. Uh, the next probably most straightforward one to do here is to go from decimals to percent. So how do we know that 0 0.25 is equivalent to 25%? There are two ways of knowing it. One is to move the decimal two places to the right. The other is because percent is out of 100, you multiply by 100 to make a decimal into a percent. So for example, if I want to make 0 0.25 into a percent, I times it by 100, and that's 25%. So we are going to simply multiply by 100, okay? Uh, if you want to go from a percent to a decimal, so the exact opposite direction, so a percent to a decimal, you're going to divide by 100. So if I wanted to go from, say, 25% into a decimal, so if I had 25% to make that into a decimal, I divide it by 100 because percent, again, is out of 100. So you're going to and the step here is to divide by 100. But more importantly, we're going to practice this in a little bit to kind of give you an idea of how to do this. The last step that I want to kind of look at, and it's a little bit more difficult and tends to be the one where students have issues the most, is going from a percent to a fraction. Now, where you're always going to start and going from a percent to a fraction, so say going from 25% to a quarter, uh, some of you just know mental math, and that's probably the most straightforward way to do it. Um, but if you don't know the mental math aspect, the easiest way to start is by putting the percent over 100, because percent is out of 100, and then reducing the fraction. And I can show you that as an example here. But what you're going to do is put the percent over 100, and then reduce. Okay, and we'll talk about that in depth. But if you want to make 25% into a fraction, you'd start by putting the percent over 100, so 25 over 100. And we've talked about how to reduce fractions in previous sections. If you divide by 25, you'll have 1 over 4. And that's how we get that 25% is equivalent to 1 quarter. Okay, so you don't have to write down that example, but there is the translator. And I don't tend to think that it's important to go from fractions to percent because you can just go from fractions to decimal to percent. You can do it that way. And I also don't think it's important to go from decimals to fractions because you can go from decimals to percents to fractions. And I find that that is a more straightforward way that students understand. So this translator here will help you identify how to go from percents, decimals, and fractions and convert between all of them, okay? So spend some time in the next little bit writing down, down this particular table here, and we'll talk about how to convert between fractions, decimals, and percents. And the thing that makes this particular section tricky is we're not just dealing with whole percents, as well as we are not just dealing with percents between 1 and 100. So we're going to have percents that are greater than 100. So if you look at this table here, again, take some time copying it down. 
we're going to look at how to convert from fractions, decimals, and percents, and you're going to be practicing this quite frequently. Now, if we look at 16 over 5, we know that that's more than 100% because it's more than a whole. Okay, but if you want to figure out the decimal equivalent for that, you can do 16 divided by 5, and you get 3.2. So let me just write that down right now. So 16 divided by 5 is equivalent to 3.2. And we did look at how to make that into a percent, and the way to make that into a percent is to times by 100. So because it's more than 100% and it's more than one whole, it shouldn't shock you if I times 3.2 times 100 that I get more than 100%. It's 320%. Okay? Uh, in the next one, we're going from, the first thing I would do is go from percent to decimal. And we did look at the translator go from percent to decimal, we divide by 100, or move the decimal place two places to the left, but 64% as a decimal is going to be 0 0.64. Okay, and let me do the next uh, most straightforward one, which is converting this decimal into a percent. So this decimal, 0 0.0045, you may think is 45%, but it's actually even less than one whole percent. So if we multiply that by 100 and move the decimal two places to the right, what you're going to notice is it's actually 0.45%. So it's less than 1%. And that's absolutely fine. Okay? And here are ten, what tends to be the most difficult two things to do is making a percent into, or sorry, is converting a decimal or a percent into a fraction. Now my strong suggestion is that your first step, regardless of the way that you want to do it, sorry for that, um, I was just recording a different lesson, so don't worry about that part there. Uh, regardless of, of uh, which question you're dealing with, is always represent the percent and make it into a fraction. Okay. So what we looked at here is percent is always out of 100. So you can take that percent number, here's your initial fraction, and put it over 100. So 64% as a fraction is 64 out of 100. Or 0 0.45 as a percent is 0 0.45 out of 100. Now this first one, because they're both integers, now it says in lowest terms. If it didn't say lowest terms, you could keep it that way. Because it says lowest terms, we have to try to reduce this to lowest terms. So if I divide by 2, I get 32 out of 50. If I divide by 2 again, because they're even, I will get the lowest term fraction of 16 over 25. Okay. Now the issue with this last one is lowest term fractions, and hear me clearly, fractions and lowest terms are not allowed to have decimal numbers. So if we want to make these integers, we're going to have to, if we have decimal numbers in our fractions, you're going to have to multiply in order to get rid of the decimal numbers. Now in this case, since I have two numbers after the decimal, I'm going to have to multiply proportionally by 100. Okay, so if you look at the numerator, 0.45, I'm just making this an equivalent fraction but without decimals. 0.45, sorry, times 100 is 45, and 100 times 100 is 10,000. So if you reduce this, maybe starting by dividing by 5, you're going to have 9 over 2,000. I think that is the lowest terms that you can go on this in this particular question. And the last thing that I have students uh, that some students tend to miss in these cases is they forget to put percent units on the percent percentages themselves. So just be careful that for percents, you always have the percent signs. Again, you might want to review this lesson. It's a little bit tricky to convert between fractions, decimals, and percents, and also ask me questions. But yeah, the last key idea here is percent units, not maybe, but must have a percent sign after them.